Hello, I'm Brian Boyer, Senior Director of Marketing Communications at the DC Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to another installment of Barbara Lang's video blog, which you can see on our website, www.dcchamber.org. And joining me today is Barbara Lang, President and CEO of the DC Chamber of Commerce. Barbara, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate My it. My pleasure, Brian. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss the Chamber's Policy Forum Series. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit more uh, about this series? I know we have another one coming up in uh, November, but can you tell us a, a little bit more about overall? Generally, thank you, yes. Um, about four years ago, we started uh, looking at very specific issues that we wanted to exploit. And then Chairman Gray, now Mayor Gray, uh, began moderating those forums. And he does such a wonderful job at that. He wanted to continue uh, moderating these, uh, these forums uh, when he became mayor. We take a particular issue. So healthcare is one we do every year. Uh, we've done technology, we've done regulatory reform, we've done real estate development. And uh, earlier this year, we did one um, around higher education and the role they play in the business community. And we had the mayor on the stage with all um, uh, seven or so college presidents. So it is a signature program of the DC Chamber of Commerce and we do minimum of three, sometimes four a year. One of the things that, that, that comes out of this is a lot of notes, a lot of um, suggestions of what policy changes can be made to affect a positive change in the city. And believe me, the mayor calls me if he has not gotten those notes in about two weeks after the forum because he wants to really see what he committed to do and what he needs to move forward on the policy front. The next one on November 20th mm -hmm. has an international flavor. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit more about this one, Go Global, Expand Your Business Overseas? Yeah, we, we um, have started uh, looking into the international arena and we've, uh, we've um, proceeded cautiously and carefully uh, but we started this about a year ago. We have an International Development Committee uh, of the DC Chamber of Commerce and they're helping with the programming. But what our hope is, uh, this is a great city. We've got all the, the ambassadors that are represented here. Uh, DC is perceived as being the hardest, hottest real estate market uh, in the world. Uh, so everybody wants to invest here and uh, buy up real estate. And so what we want to do is to highlight opportunities that exist and how can we prepare our businesses to be able to go global. What are the things they need to do? Doing business internationally is very different than doing business here in the United States. Why now? Why is this such a relevant, timely issue um, at this particular juncture? Well, I think that uh, we, we have a global economy and uh, it was really evidence during the recent shutdown and the impact that that shutdown had not just on the United States of America, but on the world and how the world was also waiting with bated breath on what was going to happen here in the US and certainly right here in our nation's capital. So I think that we've got to realize that we are all connected and, and certainly technology does that. And so we need goods and services from other countries and we know that we have goods and services that we can provide. How do we make that connection? And that's what we're trying to do is to help businesses uh, do that. Part of our, our, um, our programming is around looking at trade missions, pitch, uh, picking those countries that would be easier for our members to be able to migrate their goods and services into. So this is a, you know, kind of a bigger uh, format, but we have international counseling here in the city. We work with the deputy mayor's office. Uh, I hope a lot of our uh, viewers will, will understand that the mayor has now an office in Shanghai that's being operated out of the deputy mayor's office. So there's a lot going on and we are very connected to the, more, to the mayor's international program such that we can bring those businesses here and bring that international investment right here in the District of Columbia. And so what we want to do is to make sure that we're helping uh, DC's business community prepare and prepare in the right way. And hopefully they won't make as many mistakes as others have made along the way. We want to try to pave that way for them. Well, that's great, Barbara. You've answered all my questions. That was great. Um, obviously, a tremendous opportunity here for businesses to develop overseas, to bring international business to the district. 
and a great business development opportunity for everyone. So join us November 20th, 4 to 7 p.m. As I said, PNC Bank is our host, mm -hmm. and they are at 817th Street Northwest. Uh, should be a great session, and join us. For more information, go to our website, www.dcchamber.org. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and check out our LinkedIn page.